here to see how to fill in these nail holes, then you're in the right place. It's real easy. Don't get intimidated by how many nails there are. It goes really fast. Um, you still do have to fill them in like two times at least, maybe three times to make sure that it's flat and that they vanish. But I'm gonna show you um, how I do this. I mean, if you apply a thick first coat, it won't do that. But if you do it the way I do it, I usually do it twice. Um, so stick around. I use this all purpose mud right out of the bucket. No water, no mixing, nothing. It's ready to go. Slap it into a little mud pan like this and let's get to work. First things first, your surface has to be flat. You can see this is all flat, everything's ready. Um, this is a, a new wall, but there is a problem here. There's some nails that I put in that didn't hit anything. So it's causing a little um, protrusion out into the room. All I do is take my sheetrock knife and make an indention in the wall where it actually was sticking out. Now it's going in. Okay. Yes, that's good now. Everything's good now. So here we go. Let me show you what I do. I take me a little bit of mud and I just put it right on there. Put it right there, right there. And you drag it down like that. Very easy. Doesn't have to be perfect. Go up and then down. Up and then down. Up and then down. Okay, there's my other little nail hole right here. So I'm gonna fill that in right there. And you'll see the reason I do this from here down, and you'll see that in a lot of professional work, is because it's much easier to sand. You're gonna get a, a better finish. Uh, it just it, it really does save time. So here's the next one right here. Let's do the same thing. Okay, nothing special. Same thing here. And we're gonna go up from the bottom like that. Okay, make sure those nail holes get filled in. In my case, they did. That's all there is to it. You want to make sure that everything is flat and in order for everything to be flat, nothing can be sticking out. If something's sticking out, it will not be flat. So make sure you hammer it in so that it is an indention instead of a protrusion. Fill in the low spots, done. Now I'm gonna wait for this to dry here in an hour or two. I'll come back and do the exact same thing, a coat two, and the exact same thing again a couple hours after that, coat three, completely done. You can do this in one day, depending on how much you have to do. You see, I just did this little example section, but the rest of the room is completely done and dry. You can see what this would look like when it's dry over here. First coat. Um, and you can see how everything looks. Also, my ceiling is looking bomb. For those of you that are following me, stick around. I'm about to do, this is about to shine up like a new penny here in the next week.